Howdy everyone. Welcome to This Old Vegan. My name is Merlene Vassell and in this video I'm going to introduce you to White Cat. He's a formerly stray neighborhood cat who decided to come and live with me after seeing me around the neighborhood for several years. I began seeing a white cat in the neighborhood sometime before 2010, and I would greet him on the street. Hey, white cat. I'm sure if anybody saw me doing this, they thought that I was completely insane. And to tell you the truth, I would have chosen a better name than white cat or whitey if I would have known then that over the years, he and I would become so close. At some point, White Cat started coming into my yard with his girlfriend, a black cat who I very creatively called Blackie. At the time, I already had two cats, Two-Face and Twiggy, but I would feed the two of them outside. I was extremely impressed with White Cat's love for Blackie because sometimes she would come first and eat, and then he would go to eat after her. But if she started walking away out of the yard, he would follow her, looking wistfully back at the food, like he really wanted to eat, but he couldn't stay away from her, so he would leave. Over time, Blackie disappeared. I don't know what happened to her, but hopefully it was something good. Some, maybe somebody adopted her. Anyway, White Cat continued to come by, and I continued to feed him whenever I would see him. At some point, I saw him in the neighborhood, and he was looking really thin and dirty. And then he disappeared for about nine months, and I thought that he had died. Suddenly, one day he came back, clean and healthy, with one of his ears clipped. There's an organization here called Alley Cat Rescue, which will help people in the neighborhood to trap cats. And once the cats are brought in, Alley Cat Rescue will give them their shots, neuter or spay them, and then release them back into the neighborhood. Since White Cat's ear had been clipped, I knew that someone had done this for him. So things went back to normal and I continued feeding White Cat outdoors. Now, when I'm at home, I will sometimes keep the window in my office open so that my cats could go in and out. One day I had gone about my business in the house doing something else while the window was open. When I came back into the office, a white cat and another neighborhood cat that I dubbed Ginger were lounging in, the, in my office there with my other two cats. When I came into the room, they both ran away. But now White Cat is a fixture, and actually so is Ginger, but I'll tell you more about him in another video. Although it's been more than 12 years, White Cat is still not totally tame. He still fights neighborhood cats who come into the yard in order to protect his turf. He has an extreme fear of paper towels and tissues, so the only way that I'm able to ever wash his face is by sneaking up from behind. And he still often runs away from me, which actually hurts my feelings a bit, but I try to just laugh it off because I know that he does see me as his human. A lot of times he will sit in a chair next to me while I'm in my office working, and every night he snuggles up with me when I go to bed. Whitey is my cat, and I am his human. Well, I hope you enjoyed meeting White Cat. He's still kind of gruff and rough around the edges, but I love him dearly. Thank you for watching the video, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.